Happy Thursday, everybody. Welcome back to House of Games. Thursday today, which means tomorrow is Friday. What happens on Friday? We give away the terrible trophy. Let's do Thursday first, though, shall we? Our players this week are Ori Styler, Jenny Bond, James Bai, and Kadina Cox. Welcome, everybody. I don't know where the jazz hands came from. <laughs> Suddenly, we're doing. Uh, James, two wins in a row Monday and Tuesday. Ori Styler, a win on Wednesday. Mm. The stand ups love to win this show. How did that feel? I felt good because, I mean, I honestly thought, I've, after how James was in the first two days, I thought it's going to be like five for him all the way through. So it's getting no tighter, <laughs> getting close. So it's, it, it was good to. It was good. Too many good quizzes here for James to have gone Ooh. five in a row. Jenny, you have yet to win a day. I think yeah. you've got it in you, though. I'm well, fairly certain. I, somewhere I have, but whether it's going to come out, I don't know. But <laughs> Should we take a look at the weekly leaderboards? Please. Because James finds himself at the top, but uh, you are still very much in touch on seven. Should we take a look at the prizes, Kadina, though, for today to see what we could win? Yeah, this could be my comeback day and I might win one of these spectacular prizes. Thank you, Kadina. <laughs> Thank you so much. You're quite right. They are spectacular. Up to a point. Ooh, uh, there is the deck chair, the frisbee, the sunglasses, the compost bin or the fondue set. Wow. The very definition of spectacular. Kadina, what would you go for? I mean, I'd love the fondue set, but um, actually me and cheese don't get on, so uh -oh. maybe I'll get the deck chair for my new house. Whack it in the back garden. Whack it in the back garden. <laughs> exactly right. James, what would you go for? I like the bins. Yeah. Oh, I see what you mean. Not, not the bin, the bins. The bins. Oh, I got gotcha. you. Yeah. Interesting. Yeah. I can see them on EastEnders. Absolutely. Um, Jenny. How big is the bin? Uh, it's about 47 foot tall. Oh, OK. Yeah. Uh, no, it's a, it's a little compost bin. OK, nice. yeah, so, yeah, under... Very manageable. Yep. I spend a lot of time making compost. Do you so, really? Yes, a lot of time, yeah, so, I hear yes. You. It happens to us all, Jenny. <laughs> uh, Ori, what would you go for? I'm torn between uh, the chair and the fondue. Let's decide at the end mm. if you win. <laughs> James, two wins. Ori, one win. Let's see who wins on Thursday's House of Games, shall we? Our first round is... Highbrow, lowbrow. Ori, we'll start with you. I'm going to ask you two questions. OK. One will be a highbrow question that no one ever gets right. One will be a lowbrow question uh, that a lot of people still don't get right. They have the same answer, OK? OK. You get two points if you get it from the highbrow question, one point if you get it from the lowbrow question. OK. So here's your highbrow for two points. The four Annis Mirabilis papers published in 1905 that contain new ideas in the field of physics were written by a scientist with what surname? <laughs> I, I could change it later on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was going to say Copernicus, but OK. I don't know. You want to say Copernicus? Copernicus. Yeah, just throw something in. I'm trying to work out what a lowbrow question with the answer Copernicus. I have no <laughs> idea, but you said I can change it. Let's take it. You trick. can do. You can do. Let's take a look at your lowbrow question. In the 1985 <laughs> film Back to the Future, <laughs> what's the name of Doc's dog who becomes the world's first time traveller? Look at his little face. <laughs> so it depends on which time period. Do you know the reason I said Copernicus for the first answer was because of Back to the Future? And yeah. then that Back to the Future one came wow. up. Wow. That's amazing. That's why I said Copernicus. Wow. When it came up, I was like, ah. Was he Einstein or Copernicus when it was in 1985? That was Back to the Future 1. He was Copernicus, I believe, in the past. So I'm going to go with Einstein. You're going to say Einstein? I'm going to say Einstein. Is that the answer? It wow. is the answer. Well oh, done. I you know what? said Copernicus because yeah. of the movie. Well, I'm going to give you two points because you played that so beautifully. Are you serious? Yeah, of course. Because you said Copernicus and you knew, you, you knew what you were playing at and you gave us all the info and he is the other dog. He is Doc Brown's old dog, so yeah, I'm giving you two points. Right? Yeah, well very done. Nice. Very, very skilled, good. Ori. Thank you very uh, much. Jenny. How terrifying, yes. A two-point <laughs> question for you. Which method of musical education was pioneered in the early 1900s by Professor Emile Jacques Delcroze? <sighs> Should we go straight to Lowbrow? Yeah, I will, yeah. <laughs> Just uh, straight yeah. to Lowbrow. <laughs> We're all, and everyone at home is going, no, oh, it's OK. Um, yeah. uh, your Lowbrow question is this. Annie Lennox was the singer of which chart-topping 80s pop group? Oh, Annie Lennox, yes, 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 she was, wasn't she? Um, and I know, I know who she is. I even know some of her songs. I can picture her, Annie Lennox. And what were they called? Uh, I know it. You know this. Mm, ice cream. Ice cream. Incorrect. <laughs> Anyone want to buzz in? James. 
Eurythmics. Of course it was. Oh, of was course it was. Eurythmics. Eurythmics, yeah. Which must have been a method of musical education. Well done. Oh. Well, there we are. There we know. Well done, James and James. It is now your turn to have a highbrow question. What musical term can mean a composition without fixed form that often tries to convey the impression of improvisation or one based on several familiar tunes? Well, the only thing in musical improvisation, I mean, not that I know anything about this, would be scatting. I'm assuming that this probably means on a musical instrument. So, unfortunately, I don't know. That, that's, that's the answer I'm going to give for that one. OK, scatting. Let's have a little look at your lowbrow question. In which 1940 Disney film does Mickey Mouse struggle to control some enchanted brooms to the sound of The Sorcerer's Apprentice? It's Fantasia. Yeah, so that must be the answer to the first one as well, do you think? Mm. Let's find out. Is it Fantasia? It is well Fantasia. Done. Well done. Uh, Kadina, a highbrow question for you. Which Shakespeare title character is described as being seen with tears augmenting the fresh morning's dew, adding to clouds more clouds with his deep sighs? I mean, I'm just going to go with Romeo. Romeo? Why Makes not? Sense. Yeah. Uh, let's take a look at your lowbrow question. Oh, good out of town. What is the first dinner. name of Victorian David Beckham's second son, born in 2002? Romeo. Romeo. Oh, well done. played, oh. Kadena. Oh. Well done. Nicely done. Well done if you got that at home. Two points for Kadena. And we go back to you, Ori. OK. A two-point question for you. Which William Blake poetry collection, first published in 1789, was re-released in 1794 with an additional section entitled Songs of Experience? I haven't got a clue. No, nope, so we'll no. go straight to later. No brow list, but yeah, let's go. Which U2 album was automatically oh. downloaded to every device with iTunes in 2014? Oh, man. I still have songs on my phone from that. Really, do you? <laughs> That's so funny. I, do, I, was, I don't know. Um, time you out? Yeah, time you out. Go on. Anybody fancy it? Don't think anyone's going to go for it. Shall we take a little look at the answer? Huh? Songs, songs, of songs of Innocence. Of innocence. Yeah. OK. Who knew? None of us, wow. that's for sure. Yeah. We all had it. <laughs> <laughs> I know, isn't that funny? We literally an album that was probably the only album that all of us own. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Jenny, I have a two-point question for you. In Henrik Ibsen's play, A Doll's House, what is the first name of the main character who is married to Torvald Helmer? Mm. Um, Greta. Greta, you're saying. Here's your lowbrow question. In Last of the Summer Wine, what is the first name of the character who wears wrinkled stockings and has the surname Batty? Oh, I think I might know that. See, I don't, wear, I don't wear tights or stockings because they wrinkle and I, also, I always tell people I don't wear them because of Nora Batty. Nora? That's what my mum well, says to me. Absolutely. <laughs> well done, Nora. <laughs> James, highbrow question for you. In the Oscar Wilde work, The Importance of Being Earnest, what is the first name of Lady Bracknell? Never been I've in I've been it? in the play, yeah. Have you? Oh. Have you? But I mean, years ago. <sighs> Let's say Violet, it's wrong, but. Violet. It's Violet. I like Violet. Violet, here's your lowbrow question. Which golf club in Georgia hosts the annual US Masters tournament? Why is my brain there? <gasps> I'm a massive golf fan. Yeah, I see. This, oh. is, this is what this show... It, it, <laughs> as it's going through the week, yeah. my brain is getting worse. It's, it's a play you've been in and a tournament you've watched, but apart from that... <laughs> it's, it's, well, there you go. Uh, it's called... Um... Oh, my goodness me. I'm going to have to... You have to buzz me out. I'll buzz I, you I, out. It's embarrassing. You're going to... It's not... Listen, it absolutely happens. Anyone? Jenny. Oh, go on, Jenny. Um, Augusta. Augusta. Oh. That's what we were looking for. Absolutely. Augusta. Augusta, Georgia. Answers both of those questions. Kadena, uh, you've already got a two-pointer. Let's see if we can finish the round with another highbrow question. In Jane Austen's short novel Lady Susan, which character, originally intended as a suitor for her daughter Frederica, does Susan eventually marry herself? First name and a surname we're looking for. Oh, first name? Well, that's a bit harsh. <laughs> well, I guess it's the same first name and surname as someone famous who will be the answer to a lowbrow question. The, the name that's come into my head is, like, so random. Lance Armstrong. Lance Armstrong? That's a... <laughs> <laughs> that's, 
I love it, though. That's right. If this is about the Tour de France, oh. yeah. <laughs> the single greatest answer in the history of House of Games. Uh, so, Lance Armstrong, let's take a look at your lowbrow question. Which chef and former Strictly contestant presented Saturday Kitchen from 2006 to 2016? Oh. Is it Tom Kerridge? Is it Tom Kerridge? I don't know if that's right. Good ah. guess. It sounds like a Jane Austen character. Oh, Tom Kerridge. Oh, James gets in there before Jenny. I, I think it's James Martin. James Martin. Oh. Final point of the round goes to James. Bye. Well right, done. Let's be fair. You're getting Augusta wrong, like I need. You, you <laughs> need, a, you need yeah. a little something for your self-respect. Oh. That's <laughs> the end of the round. Let's take a look at the leaderboards. Kadina, Ori, Jenny, two points each. James by three points. Ooh. One point between a lot of you. Our next round is... You spell terrible. It is a pairs game. The player in last place gets to choose their partner. Everyone's in last place apart from James. <laughs> uh, Jenny, you haven't chosen a partner yet this week. Who would you like to play with? Um, well, I will play... I'll play with James and then... Uh, You're going to play with move. James. <laughs> James and Ori, if you'll swap places, please. Oh, Let's somebody go. has to move. <laughs> Sorry. Welcome, James. Thank you. So we James and Jenny are a team, Ori and Kadina are a team. <laughs> now, in this round, fingers on buzzers, I'll ask you a series of questions. If you know the answer, buzz in. If you are correct, your partner will then have to spell the answer okay. for you to score a point. My spelling's correct. Okay. Right. What is the answer to this, please? Before becoming president, Bill Clinton served as governor of which US state? Yes, that's Jenny. Arkansas. Arkansas is correct, James, for a point. Can you spell Arkansas? Absolutely not. <laughs> well, if there's one thing I cannot do is spell. Sorry, oh, Jenny. Yeah. Give it a go, shall we? Yeah. A R C K. Not, I'm afraid. Where would you be going next on this, Ori? A R K A N S A S. Mm. Yes, A R Kansas, essentially, Arkansas. R Kansas. Next question. The attraction known as Dippy, first displayed at the Natural History Museum in 1905, is a replica of the skeleton of which species of dinosaur? Oh. Yes, James. Uh, Diplodocus. It's nice when you buzz in, because you know you'd have to spell. <laughs> yeah. Diplodocus is correct. Oh. You can spell Jenny. Jenny. I've got I'm afraid you're going to have to spell Diplodocus. Um, uh, D. <laughs> then is it a Y or is it an I? Y. Oh, ah. Right, it's going very well this round. Yeah, so which just shows, isn't it? Diplo do cusp. Well done if you got that at home. Next question. What type of pastry used to make profiteroles and eclairs as a name derived from the French for cabbage? Oh, yes, James. Come on. Uh, shoe. Shoe is the correct answer. Jenny, for a point, can you spell shoe? C. H. O. U. X. Correct. Oh, well Point done. done. I did do degree in French. <laughs> 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 that was good. That's good. Next question. In the legend of Robin Hood, the main antagonist holds which official position? Yes, Ori. Um, he's the sheriff. Sheriff is the correct answer. Kadina, for the point, could you spell sheriff, please? S H. E R. Oh, is it double R? Mm. Is it See, double R doesn't feel like it looks right, but then I double F. Yeah. <laughs> it's well correct. <laughs> oh, well 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 done. Done. Very well played, Kadina. Yeah. Next question. The novels Middlemarch and Silas Mana were written by an author with the pen name George Watt. Yes, it's Jenny. Elliot. Elliot is correct. For the point, James, can you spell George Elliot's surname? Elliot. E double L. Incorrect, I'm afraid. Mm. Yeah, just the one L in George Elliot. Like T.S. Elliot is also one L. And one T? Ah. Weird, isn't it? Mm. Final question in this round. The singer Shakira is from which South American country? Why did I do yes, that? Kadina. Oh. <laughs> Argentina. Is it Argentina? <laughs> it's not, I'm afraid. James. Is she from Brazil? 
it would be too easy to spell, I think. Yeah, well, well yeah. She's from mm. Colombia. I was oh, going to say that. Columbia. Yeah. That's the end of the round. James, lovely to have you down here. But Thank if you. you swap back with Yes, Ori. of course. Right. I don't know if we were an unmitigated success, really. <laughs> hey, hey, we did all right. Yeah, Mum, we did all right. I think everyone did much the same in that round, James. Yeah, quite badly. <laughs> Here's our leaderboard at the end of that pairs game. Three each for everyone, apart from James, who has four. Well done, James. Well done, James. I was saying it, but well done. Uh, <laughs> I was it's an exciting round. It's all pretty close, though, isn't it? Round three today is... There once was a quiz host called Richard. In this round, I'm going to read you a series of limericks. Okay. Things on buzzers. Buzz in when you know what the limerick is about. OK? In this movie, a woman takes flight and helps penguins to dance. What a sight. Yes, James. Mary Poppins. There's a magic umbrella. Oh, yeah. Well done. And a nice cockney fella. Oh, well done. But she leaves when the kids fly a kite. Well done. Nice early buzz from James there. I would love to have played Bert. Oh. You know, like when you went, I loved it as a kid. I was like, I, that's, yeah. that's, that's why I've, I'm in EastEnders. But with a proper Cockney accent. Yeah, with a well. real Cockney accent. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> um, next one. This artist called Florence his home. Though he worked in Bologna and Rome. He used marble when younger. Could he paint Cowabunga? James. Is it Michelangelo? Yeah. And check out the size of oh, that dough. It, has it to is be Michelangelo. Michelangelo. Well done. One of the turtles, Cowabunga as well. Next one. This creature of myth, most agree, has elbows but nary a knee. Yes, James. Um, I think I might have come in a bit early here. Uh, is it the Gruffalo? <laughs> It is not the Gruffalo, I'm afraid. I will continue. Sailors think she's a dish. Yes, Ori. Mermaid. But she's half made of fish, which is why she, she lives, lives under, under the, the sea. sea. <laughs> <laughs> Mermaid, well done. <laughs> Next one. In this city with quite a hip scene, you can go to where Bowie has been. Its infamous wall... Yes, James. Uh, is it Berlin? Must be, surely. Oh, yeah. Its infamous wall did finally fall. <gasps> some say because of Springsteen. Unstoppable. Oh, well done. Berlin. Final limerick of the round. In this book, a young lad, name of Bucket, lives in poverty, then has some luck. It blows Grandpa Joe's mind. Yes, Kadina. Ah! Um, it's the Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. Charlie and the Chocolate yeah. Factory, let's see. Well. So if you ever find a candy bar wrapper, don't chuck it. Hey. Well played, Kadina, end of the round. Well done, well done. Well done. Well done. Well, round of applause to our question writers as well there for the limit. That's a very, that was a good one, I like that one. Very good, and let's take a look at the leaderboard. <laughs> good round for James there. Is he on course for his third win of the week? Jenny has three, Kadina and Ori have four. James Bai has seven points. How about that? What are we going to do? do? Two rounds to go, though. Our next round is this. The nice round. Now, Ori, you are going to have to uh, guess the name of a person. OK. OK? If the other three would take out your tablets, they will see the name of that person. They've got to write you down a one-word clue to help okay. you work out who it is. If you get it, you'll score a point. It's the nice round, though, because you will also give away a point to whoever gives you the best clue. OK, cool. I think this is a really silly answer, because I don't think this is a thing. Let's write it anyway. <laughs> Jenny, uh, Ori's got to guess the name of a person. Here's three words to help him. The first word is... Hello. Hello. Interesting, interesting. James, your word. Unfortunately. <laughs> Sorry, right, mate, this isn't going to help you much. Hello. <laughs> if this is hello as well, we know it's a policeman. <laughs> oh, my, mine's not, but mine rain. could be so wrong. Rain. Hello, hello, rain. Yeah. I'm going to say Prince, because I can't think of anything else. <laughs> I don't think they can either guess. This is, I like the way this round works. So, okay. hello and hello. There's two people I can think of that did songs called Hello. OK. Lionel Richie and Adele. But I, I didn't know who it was until Kadina put rain, set Adele. fire to the rain. Is it Adele? 
It is Eddie. It is Eddie. Yeah, yeah. One point. That's hard, I was <laughs> thinking of yeah, yeah, yeah. Lionel. Jenny, you are now going to have to guess a person. Uh, Ori, James, and Kadena will right. give you one word each to help you out. Well done at home if you got Adele on that one. Is it spelt that way? Oh, it's not a spelling test, don't worry. Yeah. Just a gist of it will do. Jenny, you've got to guess the name of a person. You have three words to help you. James, the first word is... Wilson. Wilson. Kadena, your second word. Maid. Maid. Maid, says Kadena. Wilson right. and Maid. And Ori? <laughs> Forest. Forest? Wilson is really throwing me. Um, Maid and Forest makes me think of... Nottingham Forest and no, um, Wilson. <laughs> Wilson. Oh, okay. Prime Minister. Or if it helps, if it's the person I'm thinking of, I'm not certain maid is going to help you. Right. In my head, it works, and now I think about it, it works in my head. I'm <laughs> probably not like mm. Wilson <laughs> Forest. Forest Wilson. <laughs> um, get off. Uh, Good time you're at, Jenny. I think you're going to have to. Yeah, I can't. I can't. Can I have a, a guess? Yeah, you know. I think I know. Well, only because Wilson is the name of an inanimate object in a film. Oh, we're in films which again. Which starred somebody who also starred... Cos Ori's Forest. Forest has got two R's. Yeah, well, you, but you one. said you couldn't spell, so I thought you just spelt it wrong. No, no, <laughs> no, no, no. he spelt it right. Oh, Forest Gump, so is it Tom Hanks? It's Tom, oh. Tom Hanks. So Wilson was his <laughs> companion in Costaway. Um, so no one's got any points yet. We haven't even got <laughs> okay. to hand any out. James, you've got to guess a person now. You'll okay. have three clues to help you, written by Ori, Jenny, I'm just and Kadena. I'm going to go simple this time. No, I'm not yeah, you. No, no, go really, go really <laughs> simple. OK, everybody in. James, you've got to guess someone's name. Uh, you'll have three words to help you. Kadena, the first word is... It. It is the first word. Ori. Prison. And Jenny. Royal. So, it, prison and royal. <laughs> James's face. <laughs> it's like... Well, I, I saw that one and I just thought Stephen King. But I don't know what that's got to do with royal and prison. Someone in prison that's royal? Uh, but <laughs> then I don't know any people in prison that are royal. Yeah, well, you see, you should yeah, be. Yeah, I know. <laughs> <laughs> Jenny Bond. <laughs> um, I'm going to just say, I'm going to go with that. I'm going to say Stephen King. Which I'll, I'll say this. Right. Certainly, it would apply to that. Is, is there no way you can think that the word royal would apply to Stephen King? So I put it another way. So no way you can think the word royal might apply to Stephen King. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> I'm King? saying it's Thursday, people. My yeah, brain is done. Stephen King is the King. right answer. Well done. <laughs> James, who are you going to give you a point? 100% Kadena. That's 100 the only Kadena. way I got it. Was off, her, was off Kadena's clue. Absolutely. Well played, Kadena, you get a point. Well played, James, well you get a point as well. Done, Kadena, mate. you now have to guess a person. You'll have three okay. words to help you out. Written by Ori, Jenny and James. Make it easy, guys. Mm. <laughs> OK, um, Kalina, you've got to guess the name of a person. You'll have three words to help you, and those words are Ori. Somalian. Jenny. OK. Gold. Oh, Gold. I think I've got this already. James. Mo Farah. Marathon Mo Farah. <laughs> well played, everybody. I had it from Somalia. Well played. <laughs> you just said you got it from Somalian. Is yeah. that where your point is going? Yeah, no, I'll give it to you. Go on, then. I'll... Ori gets himself a point. Come on. Yeah, so this Kadena, well done. Tablets away, please, everybody. Oh. Thanks, guys. <laughs> one round to go before we give away our fourth prize of the week. James has won two, Ori's won one. At the moment... James is in pole position once again. Eight points, two-point lead from Kadena. Kadena in second place. Oh, yeah. Well done. Oh, I'm getting worse and worse. Ooh. Here we go. Let's have a round, shall we, of... Answer to man. Point for a correct answer, point off. Don't forget, for an incorrect answer. Here we go. Is James going to make it three out of four? Your first category is... Features of a church. Okay. Those will be the pictures. There will be clues above. Smash the answers together. In the Lord of the Rings, Mount Doom is located in which land? Oh. Yes, Kadena. 
I was going to say in the organ. It's incorrect, I'm afraid. <laughs> uh, yes, James. Oh, uh, Mordorgan. Ah. Oh, ah. It is Mordor and organ. <laughs> Mordorgan. Well done. Well. Next question, next picture. Which actor who appeared in Hollow Man is the subject of a game based on the theory of six degrees of separation? James. Kevin Bacon Fessional. Kevin Bacon this Fessional. This guy is a Kevin genius. Bacon and Confessional. Very well played. Next category is old school technology. Those will be your pictures. Which 15th century French historical figure was known as the Maid of Orléans? Nobody. Know the picture, but it's not the name of the French. I was looking for Joan of Arcade game. Next one. In 1983, ABBA had a UK Top 40 hit with which song about being grateful for melodies? Jenny. Thank you for the music box. Thank you for the music box. Very well played. Thank you for the music. Music box. Next question, next picture. In which 1987 film does Arnold Schwarzenegger star as a contestant on a deadly game show? Yes, Ori. Uh, running Man... Oh, I've forgotten the name of that thing at the end. Running Man thing in which take off two points. I'll, I'll, or whatever it is. I'll take off one point. <laughs> I'll, win, yeah. I'll take off two. Uh, anyone else fancy it? <laughs> Kadena. Oh, no, that's the wrong thing. Man, running Man... I was going to say Mandalina, but it's not that. It's Manda... It is <sighs> not, I'm afraid. <laughs> I was looking for the running mangle. Mangle. That's it, uh, mangle. Yeah, mangle. mangle. Well done if you said that at home. Any more categories? <laughs> no more today. Oh, I shouldn't have lost that uh, many points. She well, just sat a <laughs> lot of points being thrown there. Oh, God. James, you won on Monday and Tuesday. Ori, you won on Wednesday. I think he's done it again, don't you think? Mm, Our winner much. on Thursday's House of Games. How much? By six oh, points, God. James. Oh, that? Well done, James. You. The good news is everyone else was joint second. Yeah. Okay. That's I mean, nice, I isn't it? That's I feel nice. like I should have been second. second just... place. <laughs> James, another prize for you. Oh, my goodness. What Which of these it? would you like? I'm going to go with the bin, the, the recycling bin. Compost thing. bin? Yeah. Lovely. I'm gift it to Jenny. Oh. Because she really wanted that oh. bin, didn't you? James Bayer wins the House of Games compost bin, gives it to Jenny Bond. Oh. How lovely. That's what we'd like to see. One day to go. It's our final tomorrow in House of Games, our weekly leaderboard. Makes good reading for James. Mm. 15 points, but Ori on 13, Jenny on 10. There's eight points for a win tomorrow, and six points for a second, so it's still doable. Shall we come back for the final tomorrow? Yeah. Look forward absolutely. to seeing you all here. Look forward to seeing you all here as well on the House of Games. <laughs>